Here we come, driving down the street, getting the funniest looks from everyone we meet. Hey, hey, it's the Monkey Mobile. Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story, and today's a special episode because, well, there's only two of these in the world, and it is the original Monkey Mobile. So I'm with Tony. Tony, you uh, helped uh, with the engineering and, and getting it back up into shape and things like that? I've maintained it. I've, maintained it? I've maintained it over the years. Uh, the owners have been you know, my customers for at least 25 years. Well, let's. Uh, what year is the Monkey Mobile, first of all? Because we'll take away all suspicion. It's a 1966 GTO. Pontiac right. GTO. 1966 Pontiac GTO. And Tony, uh, come right alongside me. Let's go to our featured attraction right off the bat. Well, there is the iconic nose of the Monkey Mobile. And I will share with you that the one thing that I, the show is in 66, it started a, com a comedic show of some four guys trying to get a rock group together. But you really wanted to see more of this car. And well, today, you're going to do just that. So, Tony, these headlights here. Are they, they, they're obviously, they look rectangular, put sideways. Are they European? What, what type of headlights do we have here? Supposedly the history of the headlights is they're off a French vehicle. Off a French vehicle. And let's take a look at that nose. So this was a Dean Jeffries build. Right. And when Dean Jeffries built this, this was all metal. There was no, no, no bondo. Everything was all metal. There's Bondo now from over the years of damage that it went through. But when it was first built, it was all it was all metal. All metal. All metal. Obviously, it looks like a stretched GTO, but as I'm looking at it now, it looks like it just curves into the fender, so it's actually the right proportion with a, with a strengthened nose. And you can see some of the original stress fractures, but let's talk about the engine itself. What does the Monkey Mobile actually have? Well, it's a stock motor. It's a 389 uh, cubic engine. It's a fake blower. Because when Peter Thorne first took the car out, uh, when, they, when Dean Jeffries first built it, yeah. they had a real blower. Not along with it. So it had a real blower, and go ahead, Peter Torque didn't want that? Because he was afraid. He was it, afraid? Quite scared of it. <laughs> and, you know, he, every time he took off, the wheels would lift, and he so, couldn't. He couldn't steer. So. so too much torque for Peter Torque. That's great. Too much torque for Peter Torque. All right. So there's your fake blower. You're getting the chance to look at it close up. It's got that interesting hood ornament with the car, as you can see. The hood oh. ornament is actually missing a piece. It was the original had a, like a dog bone underneath. Okay. That I have. I haven't yet to find the right color. Okay, got it. So it has that one right there. Let's take a look at the car from the side. Come on back with me, Tony. So now it has this, um, I'll call it bucket T top to it, and there's two of them. There's one with a tan interior, which this is the original, and there's a white interior, as I understand. So yeah, the white interior was Barris. He modified the whole interior. He okay. Also, he also put video screens in the back of the seats. Uh, he changed it radically. Too much. But this is the one. There's those pipes that we... If you look, I don't know if you can. But yeah, if you, please. If you go all the way down, you see where the... They modify this with the... They actually drilled a hole and they put... Um, they just stuck these in. And there's only a few that... Our actual the exhaust, exhaust comes out. Yeah. Okay. And then it had Krager rims. And we could see with the polyglass on there. You could see the denting on that. Yeah, this is the intimate. And the owners want to keep it the way it, the way it was. Right. We'll go to the interior here in a second as we walk around back. Now, the parachute. I don't yeah, know please. If anybody knows that. But the parachute was a, was a commercial. In the show, you would see the monkey mobile with like Kellogg's. Yeah. The parachute would open, it would be Kellogg's. It would be whatever the sponsor was of the show, they would use the parachute as the, as the, uh, the logo for the sponsor. For I the, uh, did commercial. not realize that. If you look, you know, there's, it's on, I think it's on YouTube. Or, yeah. It's on social media. Okay. Well, let me just show the license plate. 
on the monkey mobile. And the taillights, so I know it's a 66, they didn't have 66 taillights, but this is obviously a custom piece. There's your gas filler, and that's the actual gas filler. Well, that's just a that's just a cover for the filler. Okay. The cap is underneath. Got it. But it's you, just recess. But I want to show you the angles of the back of this car from there. And we're pretty fortunate today. They were we're gonna put the car inside soon. But this is just great. I love how he did the sculpting here. And the sculpting to just I make... Love the, I love the back of the sculpting. Yeah, I mean, just the... The front, is, the front is magnificent, but I love the back. It's so exact. I love the, I love the, you know, the way he blew out the, the fenders on the side. I just, it's just... You know. It's just so exaggerated in just the right way, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was such a great car. And the thing is, it was so missed. And, you know, we really wanted to see so much more of the Monkey Mobile in the episodes. Well, you know what? The other thing too is there's so many replicas. Like you know, I go to shows and people say, "Oh, you know, the it was here last year." I'm like, "No, it wasn't." Oh yeah, it was here last year. And people, there's actually people on social media trying to point it off as the the real original. thing. Yeah. But this is this is it. This is the one, folks. I mean, everything from the nuts and the bolts. And we'll show you those tail lights. But here's that back seat. I'll take my time so you can see it. Here's the roof liner. There's the side mirror. Let me show you. We have to have the monkey's Peter Torque, Mike Nesmith, Mickey Dolans, Davy Jones, and the monkeys. There you go. <laughs> there they are. Right there. So let's get an overall view of the interior. And also this second row of seats, as you can see, and those are buckets. And then notice no door handles. So you get into the monkey mobile through that handle there. They didn't do a Dukes of Hazard and jump over it. And then that's this large door. The Monkey Mobile is an automatic. The Pontiac rim, you've got the wood feel wheel. You got your T handle there. And let's show you the. There's the miles over there. And then that, right there. You've got that upgrade, looks like player, but there is monkey music there. So they've changed that, your GTO grab bar, and our tag. Stay there. Stay there. And there's something else Tony wants to show me on this side, so we're gonna take a look at that. So in the glove box, That's how you know it's the real Monkey Mobile. That's the Dean Jeffries crest in the Monkey Mobile. And that's a distinguishing factor. That is great. So let's start it up, Tony. And I know we can't pop the hood, but we'll listen to the exhaust. I'll have you uh, step on the brakes for a second just so we can show those taillights, which I don't know if we ever saw in the actual show. second the brake lights try a turn signal maybe there we go yep let's try the other one there we go we got one light out 
Step on the brakes if you could for a second. Let me see if I get both of them. No, no brakes. All right. Well, maybe you don't need brakes when you got a parachute. Pull the headlights. You can never see the monkey mobile with its headlights on, but you do here. Let me just see if they got lights in the back now, just for grins. there they're just dimly lit they're back there yeah we've got we've got some lights Tony let's uh, let's take it for a ride shall we okay. well we're taking the car off the trailer I'm here with Tony Tony how's it feel driving it it's awesome, I always, it's, it's, awesome. Always, it's always it's always it's a very it's a treat it always is so here we go we're you're right where Peter Torque would be, and uh, we're going to give you the, the chance to ride the monkey mobile with us. Listen to it and hear how it sounds. It rides pretty solid. I got to change the. Uh, they put shocks in the back that are too, too strong. Basically, a childhood dream experience right now. We'll take it that way. Right. What is the actual cubic inch on this thing? It's a 389. 389, got it. It's a stock. It's a stock. Um, really, I would watch the water if we yeah. go that way. Okay. It's a stock. Which way would you want to go? Let's go that way. It's a stock 389. Two speed transmission. It's a Pontiac transmission. They, use, they also use it this year, they use the Chevy transmission. This is a Pontiac transmission. This is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. We're right in the monkey mobile. And YouTube would say we don't have the rights to play, but we that is monkey music in the monkey mobile. And I just thought I'd give you a quick show of what this is like. Turn around. Yeah, that would be great. Well, what a fun, fun time riding in the real monkey mobile. This is an absolute pleasure. That's great. That's, that's great, isn't it? Well, Tony, what a treat. Thanks so much for letting me ride with you in the Monkey Mobile. A real uh, dream come true. I'm really excited to see what the uh, viewers on the channel think. But uh, such a nice time to get an intimate look at the Monkey Mobile. Thanks for being in my car, Steve. Not a problem. Thank you.